Today I want to show you guys a really awesome fixed loop knot. This one is called, I don't know what it's called to be honest with you. This is a knot that I learned from another channel. It was a Russian channel and what he called it was the Emricon number four. But he said he actually didn't know if that was the proper name for it. It's just how he had learned it. And I have looked in a lot of different knot publications trying to find this knot and I have not been able, been able to find it anywhere. Uh, it's a really fantastic fixed loop knot that has a quick release to it. So first, let me show you how to tie it. We're going to talk about it a little bit more, show you what's so great about this knot. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go around our object. Now with my left hand, I'm going to come underneath my standing end and I'm going to pinch the working end. Now with my right hand, I'm going to go under the working end or excuse me, yes, the working end, and I'm going to grab the standing end. Now in one motion, what I want to do is I want to pull my hands apart so that the standing end comes around or under the working end and that the working end goes under the standing end. So we're going to grab it and we'll pull our hands apart like so. Now with my right hand, I want to turn a loop into the standing end. Then coming through the top of that loop, I want to pinch my fingers through and I'm going to send a bite of the working end making sure that it crosses over the top of this standing in and I'm going to send a bite through. Now once I have that bite in my grasp, I want to in the same motion, I'm going to pull back on the standing in while pulling forward on the bite and that's what locks the knot in place. So it is very, very quick to tie. Now let's look at this a little bit closer. I'm going to tie it a little bit larger so we can see it. Now. What we have here is a single half hitch that locks in and holds the uh, the bite or our, our slip in here, which the more tension that you pull on it, the tighter that loop gets and the less likely it is that it's going to slip out. The tighter it gets, the tighter the knot gets. Now what's great about this is as soon as the load is released though, because it's a single turn there, that turn automatically loosens immediately. So as soon as the tension releases on it, you have a lot less friction or a lot less grab onto the loop, onto your quick release here, and it falls apart incredibly easy. In fact, faster than any of the quick release knots that, well, the vast majority of them anyway. Uh, it's super easy to tie, super easy to untie. Now, this side of the loop is also holding down that half hitch and while there's tension on it. So the tighter you pull, the you get tension here, tension here, and tension here. So this side of the loop is pulling down on that half hitch, keeping it locked in place. This side of the loop combined with pull uh, pressure on the standing end is making the loop tighter, pinching down even harder on this, uh, on this quick release. So while in tension, fantastic, fantastic knot. As soon as you release tension, incredibly easy to untie. So there are so many different circumstances where this knot could be useful. Now, because it is a quick release, you never want to use a quick release knot in any situation where it is supporting life. But there's so many other different situations where this knot would be the absolute ideal knot to use. So using it to tie down cargo to a trailer, this can be your anchor knot uh, for a quick release. Um, so tying it into a rail or a ring. You can use this in camping by, uh, instead of using the bowline, like for your rain flies, uh, combined with a taut line hitch, you can use this and have a quick release for that, for that particular knot. Uh, just numerous, numerous dis different situations where it's not supporting life, but you need a good, high quality fixed loop knot, but you also want to be able to untie it very easily. Now, until we learn the actual true name of this knot, we're going to call it the Russian quick release. I'm hoping that you guys can help me to determine what the actual name of this knot. Surely this one has been out there before and somebody has given it a proper name. Uh, I just I just can't imagine that 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 uh, this one hasn't been discovered long long time ago and uh, it's a real shame that I haven't known this knot before now because uh, I can tell you that it's going to be incorporated into my essential must-know knots from now on. So, and for the time being, we'll call it the Russian Quick Release, which honestly, I think is a really great name for this knot just by itself. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.